another another game week uh, against an SEC opponent. We know it's a extremely talented, uh, big, physical, fast, uh, very well coached. Uh, we know we, we have a heck of a challenge, but I like the way our guys prepared this week. Uh, we were pleased that we won last week, but not pleased how we played defensively. And we've got to you know be, be vastly improved as coaches as well as is you know, we got to execute better, and that's on us. So. Uh, we're excited by, by the fact that our guys came out with an edge this week and, and, and worked to improve, so we'll see the results come Saturday. That's one of the first things I was going to ask you about. It seemed like almost immediately after Saturday, the guys wanted, were hungry to get back out yeah. here. Did you sense that? This oh, week? absolutely. You know, I, I think our guys, you know, we gave up a couple explosive plays out in North Carolina, but, you know, I thought for the most part executed our defense pretty well. Uh, last Saturday we didn't. Uh, there, were, there was a lot of mental uh, errors very different style of, of offense that, that you know that we practiced against but but clearly we didn't execute very well um, and, and our guys weren't or like I said not pleased at how we played so uh, they came out with a chip on their shoulder on Monday and we've had three really good days of practice that tell you something about them that, that even on a day where they didn't play their best you guys did figure out to, a way to shut them down in the second half and win a game yeah you know I think that uh, when, you, when you can win when you don't play at your top you know certainly says something about you. Uh, but to me, what says more is our, the fact that our guys weren't pleased with our performance and wanted to work at it. Uh, if we continue to develop that work ethic, that pride, uh, we'll get closer to where we want to be. What are your impressions of, of the old Miss quarterback of Patterson? <laughs> you know, the first time I saw him, I, I thought I was looking at Johnny Football again. Uh, you know, I, when I was at A&M, he was our scout team quarterback. And I'm watching him thinking, oh crap, here we go again. I didn't have to face him other than the scout team. And now I actually have to face a guy that's like him. He's really talented. Uh, you know, their explosive plays come when he's, he's you know, buying more time with his athleticism. So we certainly, uh, you know, have, have tried to, you know, replicate that. Brandon's done a nice job of, of running around up here at practice today. But, uh, uh, you know, he's given us a, a, a look, you know, at least as, as close as we can resemble, but we won't be able to resemble anything until Saturday. Are there generally things when, when a team, I don't, I don't know how many opponents would have a guy like that, but when, when quarterbacks have that escapability, are there generally things that the defense has to do to prepare? For oh, absolutely. Like you, you, you've got to, you know, in your plan of attack, you've got to account for him. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and we'll have some, some different packages, different looks, uh, because if he gets out on the edge and extends plays, that's where the explosives happen. And uh, as much as possible, we're going to try to keep him where, where he can't do that. Realizing that we won't be perfect doing that, nobody has been. In addition to Patterson, he's got a full complement of receivers that are <laughs> real strong. Uh, how, yeah. do you, how do you kind of try to assess them and deal with them? Well, once again, we can't replicate that because yeah. <laughs> that's as big and fast and physical of a group as you'll, you'll see. Uh, you know, we played them a couple of years ago when I was at, at, at another school, and they, they look the same. I mean, you go out in pregame warm-ups, and you're like, wow. I mean, this, this doesn't look like, you know, your typical wide receivers. But um, they're very physical. Uh, you know, we're going to have to, you know, work our tail off, you know, mixing coverages in to, to give our guys a chance. And, and you know, in one-on-one situations, we got to win our share of 50-50 balls. Were there any common themes to the explosives on Saturday, or was it? Yeah, well, I think there was a lot of mental errors. Uh -huh. yeah, you know, guys a little bit not focused where they needed to be, um, and, and we've got to do a much better job of that, and, and we've worked that this week. These guys have seemed like since spring that they've they've wanted that. They've wanted to learn more things. Um, do you still get that from this group that they're excited oh, about? A absolutely. Some mental stuff? A absolutely. But, but for us, it was more about, you know, honing in on the fundamentals and, mm -hmm. and having eye discipline. Yeah. Yep. Um, you know, we're in man coverage and we're turning guys loose, which you can't do. Um, you know, one time they hit us on a, on a max pro where, you know, we had a safety playing a half and, you know, they had a good scheme against it and they hit us on a, on a screen with, with, with a, a good scheme against a blitz. But the other ones were, you know, things that we, we controlled better or should have controlled better. How pleased are you with uh, you guys have forced like you forced four fumbles on Saturday. How pleased are you with the turnover production? Well, it's one of our big emphasis. And again, if you see us out at practice, it, it, it's a conscious effort. We we're trying to attack the football. Our, we remind our defense all the time, our job isn't to stop an offense, it's get the ball back as soon as possible for, for our offense. And whether that's by stripping the ball or making them kick the ball, we, we got to get the, you know, get the ball back. And I think our guys have bought into that mentality. If we can, you know, that's really why, why we won the game you know, on, on last Saturday, and really both of them. You know, if you can win the turnover battle, you give yourself a chance. And 
our, our element in that is to take the ball away as many times as we can. Luke said that on Saturday. He said a lot of defenses are trying to go three and out. We're trying to go one and out. Is that from you? Is that part of the culture? That well, that's what we're trying, trying to establish. If, if, if we can average you know, three takeaways a game, I, you know, we'll, we'll probably be one of the top teams in the country. And when you do that, you give yourself a chance. And, and if our offense unfortunately turns it over three times, we better get four or five. I mean, our defense has to be better than their defense on that day. And that, you know, whether you know, it's the scoreboard or whether it's takeaways or explosive plays. We, you know, if our offense, you know, gets five explosive plays, not that we want to give up four, but we can't give up five or more. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it.